good afternoon. Is it afternoon now? Oh yeah. Um, it is the day we are leaving to go to, you'll find out, or you already know it's in the title, to go to Portugal. We're just making some lunch and I actually just brought home some goodies so I thought I'd show you them because this is what we're taking travelling as goodies because we're travelling at like 5pm which means that we'll arrive in Portugal at 7pm and it will kind of be like dinner time I know that we'll be peckish so Alex has got some crisps these are pita chips, roasted garlic and Mediterranean herbs these are really delicious we also have some giant chocolate buttons and a few other little free from chocolate bars from Tesco Alex picked these up the other day and then he just got some naked bars because they're handy both ways like all these foods will probably like be handy just while we're there um, we've got some naked bars the lemon drizzle flavor is amazing and then we've got cashew cookie and cocoa orange and then we've just got two apples so that will be nice snacks and yesterday we had to like empty out the fridge it was such a mission so we did manage to empty it out minus the cheese alex bought this cheese because he's gonna use this for lunch aren't you oh yeah um alex bought this cheese because it was an offer and that won't go off because it's all packaged up so all we have to eat which alex is gonna eat now is this Cucumba. this avocado um we have beetroot which i think will be fine and then we've got these plums, which maybe we should eat as well as a snack. And then everything else is just jars. So we've done really, really well. I hate wasting food. So I always make sure that we, like I'm having pasta because this was just all the food that was left over, like all the veg that was left over in the fridge. And yeah, we've done really well. <laughs> Why are they there? Get them clean. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to Portugal. I'm so excited. We are meeting people there who I guess we'll just wait till we see them to let you know who they are. Um, but there are a few other YouTubers and just I'm really excited to meet them because I've like spoken to them before online and we've never met in real life. So it's going to be really good. And we're really ahead of time. We were so organised last night and today that we're really ahead of time and I actually was just saying to Alex that I really quite enjoy traveling in a way because of the preparation and the organization because it kind of gets you to sort your life out so I've like emptied all my hard drive oh not my hard drive my memory cards kind of got everything organized all my stuff together I've like planned my outfits and the stuff that I'm going to take with me so I don't take too many clothes and I like made some new skincare because I ran out of my skincare because I make my own. I have an ebook on it and I hadn't bothered to make any new stuff in a while. And I'd just been using Alex's and kind of like using up other stuff. So I made my own cleansing oil and facial oil and kind of just put like some aloe vera and some coconut oil little tubs to take. And I find it really satisfying. I don't know if any of you guys have that too, but it's quite satisfying when you travel because you just like organize everything together and then when you're away you only have those set things and it feels all very I don't know how to explain it but it's just kind of you have the essentials sorted and it's quite satisfying planning the food eating all the food out the fridge do you know what I mean it's quite a pleasing process also because we tidy the house yeah and we, so we always tidy the house you'll be like spotless it kind of is like I find that when we travel it's always like let's organize everything even if just going home to Cornwall mm -hmm. it's just like let's get everything sorted not an orange one. <laughs> oh, oh, green. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday we had run a few errands in town to like get everything done. I posted some stuff. Alex did this morning. I posted my giveaway winners um, for the, um, the cookbook. And I'm wearing my girlfriend collective outfit, which I do have a 10% discount code off if you're interested. That is an affiliate link. Um, but it doesn't cost you any more. Just I love this brand. So yeah, it's like... The comfiest thing ever and it's a sustainable activewear brand and look at the back of it can you see the back of it so it's got the cross back which is really cute it's made from like recycled fabric recycled plastic bottles and their branding is so on point i'm rambling so much i'm gonna have my lunch <laughs> i've got a delivery coming as well which is coming literally i think half an hour before we have to leave so that's such good timing because i really wanted this delivery to arrive it's a pair of trainers from a brand called Vegger. or they they're the, yeah. What do you reckon it is? It's a French brand. Veja. They have a line of vegan trainers and I need, well I don't need, but I wanted a pair of white trainers because mine I only have one pair of trainers and they're black and it means I can wear them on holiday so I'm looking forward to that arriving and I will show you them when they get here. But now lunch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
My package has arrived. I'm really gutted because I just looked at the weather in Porto and it's supposed to be raining all week, apart from one day. Rain, mm. rain, thunderstorm, rain, sun, but cloud, rain. Well, give us a chance to get to know each other in the But I've literally packed apartment. my bag for like sunshine and like dresses and shorts and it's going to be raining. Oh, it smells really nice. That smell. Well. Depending on the model, but just sneakers are made of ecological materials. Recycled plastic bottles, recycled cotton, fair trade. How freaking cool are these? I love them. I'm so glad that they arrived. They're so nice. They smell amazing. Let's hope they fit. I bet you they won't fit. This is always my luck when it comes to things. It's like all the stuff. Mm. And then they don't fit. They look quite small. I have size eight feet, so I'm a... Oh, they fit like a glove. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I have really big feet because I'm very tall. It's often hit or miss. And especially with like, a because this is a French brand with like European sizing or like, I don't know, you're not ordering from, it can be different depending on where you are. So I'll lace these up and then I'll show you what they look like on. So here they are. Don't they look cute? I love them. I'm so pleased. And you can get different colors. I feel like I'm becoming a saleswoman in this video, but um, just for those of you who are interested, I like to share. When I'm doing this, I'm not like trying to sell. I just know that a lot of people like to buy, if you follow me, like to buy from sustainable brands or vegan stuff or whatever. So yeah, they do like this style with like red on the outside or black or gray or whatever. Cause I got the cream color cause I wanted them to be all white, but yeah, very, very cool. Cause the only trainers that I own are my New Balance trainers that I wear to the gym every day. And they're kind of more like gym shoes. It's nice to have a pair of trainers that are like not gym shoes, that are just kind of ones you walk around in. Cause I don't own a lot of shoes. I only have Converse, sandals, a pair of heels when I need them and my docks and that's it. Very, very happy with these. And they fit like a glove. So chuffed, I think I might wear them today. We are supposed to have left at two. Because it takes 50 minutes to walk to the station. I don't want to be running because then we get hot. Um, all right, can we go through my checklist? Oh my God, Alex. So we've made it safe and sound at the, air the airport. No, we're not at the airport yet. We're at the train Wait, station. We're not. Sorry about the noise. And I'm very sweaty because it's really hot. It's like 23 degrees and I've got like layers on. It'd be nice to get to Porto where apparently it's nice and cool and raining. <laughs> in a tube and you have to take your shoes off. But we're here and we're in Wagamama's so we can have some dinner before, like an early dinner because we've got like an hour until our gate information is given to us. So um, we are going to explore the vegan menu and I think you're probably gonna have the katsu curry, aren't you? Yep. I can't because it's got gluten in it. So upset about that, but I really want it. <laughs> the menu is huge. I know, so cool. Right, let's pick something.
We're about to board and it is insanely busy, isn't it? There's yeah. literally not a seat. So many people. Oh yeah, I'm gonna stand here until it's gone. God, this hill. And I'm so hungry and there's no shop. Everywhere it looks like a ghost town. I'm so hungry. There's so many cats. Right, so we've just arrived and we're gonna say goodbye. We'll show you the place in the morning because, <laughs> because um, we're gonna go try and find some food from somewhere and um, settle in and everything, get settled because yeah. we're very tired, get some water. But the guy who showed us was so nice, isn't he? Very, very helpful. Nice. We have a map. Very happy. Very happy. <laughs> and um, they offer bed and breakfast and he said that on this bed and breakfast, they have gluten-free and milk-free stuff. So we need to translate this menu because I think that this is a menu that's kind of like trendy and maybe has some things that we can eat on there. But anyway, we'll see you in the morning. Yeah. Good night. Oh, good night. From Porto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.